Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with a reorganization video. Obviously, I have boxes behind me. I'm in my new, like, studio, book room area. If you missed my, like, unpacking my my studio, my office, my workspace. I'm not sure what to call it. I guess technically it would be a studio. I'll link that video up above just in case you haven't seen it. It was basically just unpacking the art desk, the computer, like all of my, my work stuff that I would need access to immediately. It was none of the putting the books away. The bookshelves are all set up on this wall over here. The books are officially now behind me. I got Adam bless his heart, to bring all of my book boxes up. There are quite a lot. Six stacks of four, that's 24 boxes of books. And the, these aren't even technically all of them. These are just the ones that I am going to be unpacking. I plan on doing an unhaul before I move again. So hopefully at that point in my life, I'm just I'm just a lot more willing to let things go. But until then, this is where we're at. This is gonna take a few days. I've decided not to do my bookshelf reorganizations in a day. It's not realistic, it's not fun. Today at least, I wanna get the book boxes unpacked. So let's just kind of dive in. I'm trying to film, and not because people tell me my videos are long, because you guys are actually always telling me that you want my videos to be longer. I think, I, but thank you. I can't even listen to myself talk for that long. So I honestly am always trying to shorten my videos because I know that I can go on and on and on. I don't have in my mind a place to stop when I talk. And I'm saying fast paced, but I probably still mean like 20 minutes. That's a fast video for me. Yeah, let's get to organizing books. This is Audible. Audible Studios presents Punk 57. Written by Penelope Douglas. Performed by Matthew Holland and Laurie Jeffrey. I think that right now I might just organize them into like size and like color families. I don't know if we'll get started on anything tonight. I'm kinda hungry. Oh, I might actually, I think I'm gonna get a snack. I'll show you kind of what everything looks like right now. Again, it's definitely not in any kind of anything really, but I need to clear off some of the shelves, put things in like piles instead of laying them down, and then maybe start putting them away. I guess we'll see. We have a bit of organization now. I mean, again, I mostly just kind of left some things on the shelves in their little like color families and then stacked others. I don't know. I think that I am gonna start just a little bit tonight, but it is getting late, so I guess we'll see.
Okay, um, I'm done for tonight. I feel like a lot got done, and I also feel like nothing got done, which I think means it was a good day. Here, let me just give you an overview. So this is what the hidden shelf is looking like. I've decided to kind of make it like a paperbacks shelf. That way I can be a little bit more messy with it and like pack it in, which is what I like to do with paperbacks. So I have all of the other ones to fit in. I put like my shadow hunter stuff, more paperbacks. Um, and then here I've gotten a few shelves done, but a lot are still unfinished. The reason like my three little shelves aren't cornered out like I had them in the last house is originally I didn't think that this one would fit. I was going to be fitting in this one on this side and just move that over there and when I realized it wouldn't fit nicely I just ended up putting that there and it's kind of made for a weird dynamic so I have like a oh you can't really see there that's better but it's made for a weird dynamic and I kind of have to deal with one of my display shelves being between two of like my other shelves. Yeah, I have to decide what to do with that. There's just still so many books. But honestly, it feels like a lot got done. Oh, wait, are both the kitties here? <gasps> they are. We have a baby and another baby. Oh, how sweet. I would say there's probably like two more full days of work. So who knows? Because tomorrow I have work. Okay, good night. Okay, the lighting atrocious it's okay it's day two of reorganizing my shelves i just got off from work so excuse excuse the lighting so i think that i'll get through as much as i can tonight I'll give you an overview right now of what things are looking like. I have some piles left on the floor. I still have some things piled into shelves that don't necessarily go there. I switched around a few shelves. I actually mess a lot with the middle shelves because I just felt like there was too much of a concentration of like reds in the center and it was pulling the attention. And I did a little bit more on the hidden shelf. But we'll see how that one stays. I just kind of wanted to start sorting things into it. So right now I only have about an hour until I have to get back to work. So yeah.
my camera died. I'm using my phone. I got some more done. Uh, I need to like leave right now, so let me just show you. Finished up a little bit that shelf. That bottom shelf is a little bit more finalized. I cleared off that one. I worked quite a bit on these ones and I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. And I worked somewhat on these shelves. So like that one, um, this gold one, it took me forever to find the gilded ones. That's literally what I've been doing for the past minute. And I didn't really touch anything over here. Yeah, we'll work on this tonight. Gotta go to work, bye bye. Okay, we are in the final bit of reorganizing these books. Let's go. So it's been a while. If you haven't seen any of my newer videos, I got sick. So that was part of the reason, like the books were in the shelves. I didn't really care about it after that, but I still have to put all of the knickknacks and things. So I still need to kind of take down some of the things on the walls. My mom has like crosses that I made when I was in school. Put maybe some pin flags up is what I was thinking. I still need to put my lights up. I was debating on whether I wanted to do it or not. And I decided that I think I do, but I wanna run them vertically. I would love to do my warm white lights because the blue white they look like they flicker it's because of the frequency that they emit their light at if I don't have my camera on the right f-stop then it looks like they're flickering and flashing and that's not good for you guys but I only have one string of warm white lights versus multiple strings of the blue white so for now I did figure out how to get my f-stop low enough so I'll just keep using it and maybe in the future switch out back to warm white I still have to um, finish kind of wiping down the shelves so I still haven't found my contacts after moving it's been a month so look at him his face is just smooshed into his hands so sweet he loves the window seat I never got the chance to show this to you guys, but look at what Adam got me. Like he found this, well he saw this and then he thought of me. But it's Remus Lupin's Patronus, a little wolf Patronus, because I've always said that I connect with wolves. I would want a wolf to be my Patronus.
I took a break to eat and it's dark dark now but I got the lights up and they don't look bad actually they managed to last all the way till this side let me show you fun right I don't know I don't know how I feel about them yet they're just like a lot in person I wish that I hadn't double stranded it on every single one the flashing is annoying I'm sorry I just really miss having warm white lights. Maybe I'll show you a little bit more of me decorating, but then I think that the last clip is just gonna be me actually showing you the shelves because this has been a long-winded video. You guys said, I posted my bookshelf tour today, you guys all miss my hour and a half long bookshelf tour. I got so many comments in my last bookshelf tour roasting me for it being a feature film length video of books. I got so many comments on it roasting me. And then this one I made under under 30 minutes and I get all those comments that are like, ah, I wanted a feature length film. You guys suck. <laughs> I'm kidding, you don't. For that reason, I'm gonna make this reorganization video as long as it needs to be because apparently whoever is gonna be upset that this is long, go watch my bookshelf tour. It's short. Sorry, the flashing lights are probably so annoying. I'm I'll talk to you guys in a moment in later times. I started rearranging my shelves last night as I was putting items on them because I just realized that I had more books to put on the shelves because of my like book of the month stuff and I didn't have anywhere to put them aesthetically and actually I love I love I love I love how it turned out. So my shelves are organized but I'm not going to show you everything yet because I need to <laughs> clean up the rest of the mess and this video will be done. I reorganized these shelves already. That's hilarious. <laughs> We're finally done. I'm gonna do a little overlay right now while I talk, but I'm actually so, so happy with how this room turned out. I mean, I know this was a bookshelf reorganization video, but I definitely put up all my decorations and kind of completed this room since I will be here for a little while, definitely. And I was telling my boyfriend today, I feel like this is making me want to read again like it's crazy what a room and how you organize it can do for your mood as much as i did love how my books were organized in the last house the room was always so dark there was never any natural light in it it was just in kind of like a weird corner of the house so it never had direct sunlight it barely had indirect sunlight it did a lot for just like my motivation to read and here even having not all of my stuff on display but most of it it just makes me so happy like to see all of my objects again to see my books and to just like feel inspired by them in all honesty and just be able to look at the cool bookish things i have and go wow this is a really cool thing that i have is something I haven't been able to do in a while. I love how these turned out. I love that I ended up putting books on top of my bookshelf. I don't know why I've never really thought of this. I always just thought it would look a little too crowded for some reason. And I did put books that I'm not going to reach for often since I have to step on a chair to even get to them. And books that I don't really think are that aesthetic on my shelves in general, I put on the top. So they're ones that I kind of didn't love anyways, but they look so good up there like I don't even know how it works because I thought it would pull everything really dark but it's not and it left so much room in my shelves and it looks so like light and airy now that there's spaces and places for new books to go I'm on a book buying ban but like for the first time in forever when I looked at my shelves I'm like oh my gosh there's room for new books I haven't been able to do that in a while and I didn't realize how much that was hindering me in a weird way. I don't know guys, this is so silly to say just because I know it's all like aesthetics really and nothing that matters I guess in a way, especially with reading, but it's completely just changed my mindset. I feel so good seeing all of my books on display, I feel so good knowing that if I do get more books there's room for them, and having minimal knickknacks on the shelves. I love I love the knickknacks I did put on the shelves, but I l also deeply love the fact that most of the shelves are just books. Like, they're just books on display. Like, there's nothing blocking me from picking up a book, if that makes sense. Like, I don't have to move an object before I can get to the books behind it. <sighs> I don't know. It's so silly. This is just beautiful. I love how it turned out. I'm so grateful to my mom for letting me use her, like, crafting room as my bookish space. She loves it, so I'll have to figure out something and make her her own book room before I ever leave. <laughs> I did once again order things by kind of color a little. 
Um, it's not specifically a rainbow shelf and it's not totally by color because obviously I don't really like splitting up series, but if I had multiple of one edition of a book I wasn't scared to split them up and I think that it just looks really nice, like nice and airy. I can't wait to film in front of these. I still haven't because obviously I did rearrange them ever since I put books on top of the shelves. I hope that this video was fun for you guys. I love bookshelf reorganization. I love cleaning style videos in general so that's not really a surprise but I don't know what the footage is like yet for this video. I know that there's some but I'm hoping that it came together nicely. It's so nice. I feel inspired to read again. So that's a really good feeling. It's crazy what some daylight will do because I really think that that's the biggest difference is just having light in this room. Like currently right now it's almost 8 p.m. but the sun's going down. Let me mention the string lights. I like ultimately how they turned out. I like the kind of up and down look. I do think that it would look better with the warm white lights. I don't know I was debating on maybe the fact that I doubled them up on each length is what's bugging me but I think it's actually just that it's a bluish white light which is fine again I do like these lights I won't ever I'll always find another use for them I just think that I want a warmer light in my book room I don't know this turned out good right this is definitely my favorite iteration my of my shelves it's so good so much room I thought I needed new bookshelves I thought I needed more bookshelves which was insane to me because I already have so many I, I have like a veritable library, personal library, and I just felt so crowded and I was like I need more shelves, like I need at least one more long, tall, big bookshelf so that I can put books in it and not feel so cramped, but guys, use your space, use your heads. I don't know why I never thought of putting books on top of my shelves. I think it's because I've always had to put like boxes and things on top of it. <sighs> I'm gonna stop chattering because I'm sure that I ran out of footage by now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you and I'm... I, I hope that this was actually the push that my brain secretly needed to start really reading again and to get me out of my slump. I hate that my brain doesn't tell me the things I need and it just... it just... You know, it just waits for me to figure it out and it might take a year and a half like it did this time. <laughs> Thank you so so much for watching and I love you all so so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye